Hello everyone, a heartwarming welcome for all the audiences that's joining us on LinkedIn Live today. My name is Judy Wu and I will be your host for the live streaming from today. We're today at the fourth day of Hanover Mesa 2023 at the Delta booth. Yesterday, you have already the opportunity to learn more on our Intelligent Zone, which is our smart manufacturing solutions. Today, we're going to explore more on the sustainable solutions here today. Delta has been a leading provider for the EV charging infrastructure solutions. To date, we already have 2 million Delta-enabled EV chargers installed around the world. Here at Hanover Mesa 2023 at the Delta booth, we will be introducing the EV charging infrastructure solutions and the energy storage solutions. Are you excited to learn more about what we have to offer here? Follow me as we explore more on our innovative solutions. More people are considering to change to EV cars now. But of course, you need to make sure that your home is also equipped with the right EV charging infrastructure. What are the solutions that Delta can offer? Today, we have our business development manager, Mr. Tobias Wolf, to shed some light on this topic. Hi, Tobias. Hi, Judy. Can you tell us a bit more about our solutions for the home charging? Yes, of course, I like to do. So Judy, you have to imagine that almost 70% of the charging session will happen via AC technology. Charging at home, charging at work, or charging at the hotel stay. And the European Union Building Directive also forces the building owner to equip their already existing or new parking spaces with charging infrastructure. And most of this will happen via AC technology. The answer of Delta Electronics is our AC Max our product here in stand in front and other wall. This AC Max is a, a possible to equip with a power rating of 11 kilowatt and also 12, uh, 22 kilowatt. It is possible to install it in the free phase and also in a single phase in installation environment. In general, we are dividing it in two product lines, the AC Max Basic and the AC Max Smart. In the AC Max Basic, you have the opportunity to identify for the charging session via a key lock and you have the possibility to communicate via Bluetooth with the AC Max smartphone app. For the AC Max Smart, we have a little bit more intelligent wall box here. The, the identification for the charging session can be happen via RFID card reader and you can also communicate via Wi-Fi, LAN and also SIM card to the back end. The newest feature we have or service we can provide to our AC Max is our AC Max charging app. And this charging app has three functionalities. First, you can control your charging session and also check out your charging history. Second, you can configure your AC Max, for example, for maximum power ratings, or you can also scheduling your charging. And third, you can upload always the latest version of your firmware, which is providing via the cloud and can be transmitted through the Bluetooth communication. And it's in general the functionality of our AC Max wallbox. I want to add something. This wallbox is produced in thousands of pieces as a white label product for the OEM car manufacturers. And now with our Delta own Delta brand, we're providing this product through a lot of channel partners in the EMEA region to the B2C customers. Judy. Any more questions? Yes, of course. Uh, Tobias, you talked a lot about the AC product, but does Delta have other solutions that we can offer to our customers? <laughs> for sure. I mentioned that we're talking about 70% for AC technology, and the other 30%, of course, will be done with the DC technology. And also for the DC technology, Delta has provided, can provide something in their product portfolio. I will show you that. Just come with me. Sure. Hi, Tobias. Uh, can you explain to our audience what this product is? Yes, of course, Susie. As I mentioned, this is our DC product. It's called Ultra Fast Charging UFC 200. And this kind of product is used in use cases, for example, charging at the shop, charging at the highway, or charging at demand when you want to recharge your battery in a very short charging duration. The key features of that product is that you have 200 kilowatt available. You have the possibility to have two 
uh, DC outlets. You can choose between CCS or between Chademo. And if you charge just one car with one outlet, you have 200 kilowatts. And if you charge two cars at the same time simultaneously, you have 100 kilowatts each on every power group. On top of it, you can also add or configure some AC plugs and AC sockets to our charger. But talking about DC charging and talking about public accessibility, it's more than just hardware features. It's about three very important things. First, accessibility for disabled people. So disabled people have to use the charger the same like not disabled people. So you can see that in our design, we have done that pretty well. You can have a look at the HMI, you can uh, read, read the card with the RFID card reader and you get easy access to our cable blocks. The second very important thing is the payment system. And the payment system, especially now when the European Union uh, come with the AFIA, the Alternative Fuels and Infrastructure Regulation, they will push more and more into the ad hoc payment system so that you can do your charging without having a contract in advance. And this is also fulfilled by our solution. We even in, uh, designed in a payment system which has in touchpad for the pin entry for credit card and debit card payment systems. And the third one, very important and a very game-changing uh, uh, parameter of functionality is the DC metering combined with the Eichrecht for the invoicing process. Because in the end, the customer wants to have at the invoice only the kilowatt hours he got on the car. And therefore, you need to fulfill a lot of regulations to fulfill the accuracy and transparency with the Eichrecht. And today at the Hannover exhibition, we are very happy to provide you that our UFC 200 passed the German calibration law or Eich, Mess und Eichgesetz by the VDE and it enables us the customer to provide the customer UFC 200 ready from the production with Eichrecht. But besides that, um, we are also happy that we are not only providing Eichrecht from the production, we can also provide Eichrecht via retrofitting. So our customers have a chance which already uh, bought our products to retrofit the chargers in the field. How can we do that? The architecture is very easy. We use a certified DC meter, we use a measurement capsule, and we're displaying the meter values here on the top of our HMI system. And using this HMI system as a live meter value for the DC meters enables us to do the retrofit without any more hardware change. And this is very important and I think a strong signal that we also take into account responsibility for the already sold products. So with all these new competences, Delta Electronics charging infrastructure developing more and more to a one-stop charging so uh, solution provider. This means that we're taking our competences in the platform and bringing it in high power ratings, the same as in low power ratings. So two additional product lines we are showing here at the Hannover Messe and I would like to show you our Slim 100 and the DC Wallbox 50. Come with me. Yes, talking about lower power ratings, talking about our Slim 100. The Slim 100 is a very compact design. We have only a height of 1.6 meter and it's built it for, very, for installation where you have a lot of space rest restriction. In total, you can also provide two DC outlets with a total energy of 100 kilowatt if you only charge of one outlet. If you do simultaneously charging, you have 50 kilowatt on each DC outlet. Additionally, we have also the chance for the AC socket with 22 kilowatt. Also, the Slim 100 takes care about the accessibility for disabled people. You can see it in the design. We have also a payment system integrated, which have also the pin entry ready. And we are also already have integrated DC meters. The certification for Eichrecht is still ongoing, but as you can imagine, we use the same architecture like the UFC 200 in our platform concept. We will reach the certification in the very near future. With this product, we can provide a lot of interesting parts, especially for the, uh, for the supermarkets. But coming up to a, even a lower power rating, we are talking about our DC Wallbox 50, the newest product line which we, can, what we are announcing here at the Hannover exhibition. The DC Wallbox 50 is a wallbox which can be mounted directly at the wall. 
or put on a pedestal. We have also two DC outlets and here the same like in all our platform concepts you can charge with one car 50 kilowatt and you can charge simultaneously with two cards 25 kilowatts. We also have the opportunity to configure an AC plug where you can charge with 22 kilowatts even there. The accessibility for disabled people is also given and the payment system and the Eichrecht will be coming soon also for this product line as we promise for our uh, total DC product portfolio. So in total you can see that Delta Electronics is now having a hard way through an evaluation process to having a one-stop solution for DC charging product portfolio. With, um, with two or three messages I want to send here from the Hanover exhibition, I want to say that we are a reliable partner taking responsibility of the already sold part, uh, products as well as the new products. Secondly, we also developing new competences, especially with this very dynamic market requirements. And the third one, Delta will be in the future the one-stop charging manufacturer provider for the CPOs in the EMEA region. So Judy, thanks. Do you have any questions? So what can we show else at the Hanover exhibition here at the Delta booth? Yes, Tobias, you have just introduced us to the AC and DC technology of Delta's EV charging solutions. However, nowadays, with the popularity of e-mobility, it actually creates a lot of demand to the grid as well. How does Delta echo to this issue? I've invited today our product manager, Mr. Guy Lira, to shed some light on this topic. Hi, Guy. Can you talk to us a bit more about this topic, please? Sure. Thanks, Judy. I'd like to present you with our EV charging infrastructure solution today which is a combination of EV charging, PV power production, energy storage, and an energy management system all working together in an optimized way. And it's especially useful nowadays since, as we know, um, the adoption of e-mobility and as a consequence, the rollout of EV charging infrastructure has been happening at a much faster pace than um, the expansion of, of distribution grids. The result of that, is that many building owners and entrepreneurs have been facing bottlenecks when they want to add more loads to their sites in the sense that uh, the point of connection to the grid might limit the amount of EV chargers, heat pumps or other types of electrical loads that would be added to the site. And well, waiting for the utility to upgrade the connection point by replacing transformers, replacing protection devices and civil works might be a lengthy and sometimes costly process. And these were exactly the challenges that our European headquarters faced. So limited capacity at the point of connection to the grid, uh, more and more electrical loads coming in, and expensive electricity bills, especially if we think about the impact of overloads. Now, with this solution in place, uh, we have 16 EV chargers on site which can feed power to up to 24 electric vehicles at the same time without overloading the electricity grid. And not only have we been able to expand our electrical installation while avoiding overloads, we are also um, avoiding potential outages with the backup functions and we're, we're consuming more of the locally produced PV uh, power, which is often a more economically attractive alternative than to sell the excess PV power to the utility. And on top of that, uh, we could achieve 16% on annual savings of electricity costs at a time of rising electricity costs. And now we'd like to invite you to have a closer look at the parts of the system. What we see on the screen is the user interface of the new Delta Grid EV management, which is an energy management system with special features for EV charging. It is a key component of the solution, and it's the intelligence that enables CapEx and OPEX savings by controlling the other components. And if we look to the side here, we have examples of the other components as miniature models, here we have an example of Delta's 
skid-mounted energy storage systems, which are integrated packages aimed at making deployment very straightforward. And what I mean by that is that all cables, all internal cables, are cut to size and shipped with the product. So there are only a handful of AC cables and communication cables need to be connected on site. They are um, scalable and modular to address current and future needs of commercial and industrial installations. And last but not least, we see here um, our power conditioning systems, or PCSs. As you've seen, as part of the energy storage solutions, we have PCS 100 HV, which is a 100 kilowatt bidirectional converter that can be paralleled at up to 10 units, controlled as one. And on the other side, we have the PCS 1500 series, which ranges from one megawatt to 1.725 megawatts. These are all bidirectional converters that can be used in a wide variety of applications and with different energy storage technologies. And by that, I don't mean only NMC and LFP batteries. Yes, that as well. But these, these products can and have been used with other types of DC input, for example, hydrogen fuel cells and redox flow batteries. And with that, I would like to welcome you to visit us as our, at our booth at Hanova Mesa and find out more. Back to you, Judy. Thank you, Guy, for your wonderful introduction. Indeed, as he mentioned, if you're interested in Delta's EV charging infrastructure solutions and energy storage solutions, we sincerely welcome you to visit us at Hanover Mesa 2023. We will be here until 21st of April, and our booth is located at Hall 11, Stand C20. We will be ending the live stream here today. Thank you very much for your participation. We wish you a pleasant day and goodbye.